are just about ready to leave, but a couple of jobs first. One is to put the trickle charger on the car. John is hooking up a trickle charger to our car because anytime we're gone longer than a month. a month, the battery will die. So show them how it works, John. So you hook the black clip to the black terminal, the red clip to the red terminal. There's a little connector here that puts it all together. As a battery maintainer, it allows the battery to discharge to a certain point, and then it charges it back up, allows it to discharge, and brings it back up. So it's pretty neat. Boom. Light is on. So it's doing its thing. And I gotta do a little bit of cleaning up because we had an incredible, one of those rare thunderstorms last night. And I gotta sweep up some of the debris that fell. So we are heading to the Pleasure Way Rally in Las Vegas, which has been postponed twice. a great time at the rally in Las Vegas and right next to us is a genius of a technician <laughs> at least I think you are this is Otto Johnson from Montana and he has shown me some interesting things he's done to his Lexor so uh, he's gonna share those with us it's one of the first things I noticed on your van is the pop-up shelf that you did that mimics the one that Larry did on my channel right yes it is but you made some changes I had to, to make some changes because I have the older rounded countertop so oh. I, I can still get to my spider panel and my plug-in. And also, the original sink cover would have fit in there. For some reason, I built a wooden one. but So it fits the sink and the countertop. Somebody toured the van today that came up with the idea that if I did this and then built a half cover on my sink, we could oh. have this for countertop plus this and still be able to push things down under it. Oh, good idea. And, and then the second thing I noticed was a custom opening over here. I It bugged me to have empty room underneath the floor, so I took the top <laughs> off, which was half-inch plywood covered in shag carpet, and took the framing out from under it. And I have quite a bit of storage extra down there now. I did, I had to build a heavier cover so there's no support under it other than on the sides and I did have to take the cover off of the black tank so I could recarpet it because my wife said that was ugly without it. <laughs> okay then the, one of the other things of course I get asked a lot is about bike racks for e-bikes and Otto has something completely different. I have a one-up bike rack that is branded Quiet Cat but it, it really is a one-up and I have it mounted on a Kuat um, swing away. I can swing the bikes pretty much all the way out of the way. And we have full access to this door, real easy. I could not, being from Montana, I couldn't live without a spare tire. So I, this is my own fabrication and design, but I built a swing away for the spare tire and also fabricated a second receiver hitch. So tire mounts one spot, the bikes mount the other. Gosh, well, you are really talented. And then I also like your little hidden spot in here. I storage storage is at a premium. So I seen the tire maybe had a little bit of room in it. So we've got that storage also. Wow, okay, so there was one other thing on your 
bike that I saw. And that was this little... A device to keep a cord wrapped up. Oh, and yeah. And I locked the pedal on the, that bike in place so it can't move so I don't ding my door on a pedal. So it So the door that. clears it. I just cool. needed that much room and it seemed to always be in the wrong location. And once you turn it too far, you can't turn it back without picking the bike up. If you want to haul one bike, you loosen two screws, Allen screws, and you can slide the back rack back or, for, or sideways and pull it off and just have a real easy single rack so it's way out of the way. This rack will also fold up out of the way and it will also tip back out of the way. It'll kind of do it all. Okay, and you have uh, you have one Rad Rover, and then you bought a bike from uh, Bolton. I have one Bolton Blackbird. And you really like it. I love my Bolton Blackbird. I originally ordered a 26 inch, and I got scared at the end and had him switch it to a 24, and I'm really glad, the 24 inch tires, because I couldn't have uh, straddled the bar on a 26. Uh, yeah. And I'm 5'9", so it yeah. kind of gives you an idea. Yeah. Anyone that's not familiar with Bolton e-bikes, he has a website, it's, um, I think it's Bolton e -bikes. I think it's Bolton e -bikes Yeah, on YouTube. So check out his website because he does a lot of reviews. I really like his work. He's a really nice guy to talk yeah. to, really helpful. Yep. I really do like him. Right. Any warranty issues are instant. I ran over a piece of a semi-tire in Kentucky mm -hmm. and it broke one of the knobs off of, off of this. Mm -hmm. So the easy answer I figured out is to go ahead and break off the other knob and buy another one of this piece okay. and glue it over that piece and you end up with the same thing over again with two knobs for five dollars and a can of glue and good tip and it does stick out an inch farther which in my case kind of helped uh, the table that came in here originally was round and we would set it down and roll away mm. and I wanted it to do more things so this is my prototype the next one will be a little wider this will replace the boards between the... Oh, can, okay, so you made this wide enough to, to yes, yeah, it's wide act enough as a bed board. This way to be a bed board. Right. And we can have it in this position for two of us, one person there and one here. This position, and we can have somebody there, somebody here, and somebody here. And then the height is a little low. but we can use it also for a countertop extension and to get it out of the way. Nice. Did you do a cardboard template to figure out what you wanted the size-wise? I did, wise? yeah. It took a, the hardest part was figuring out where to mount the swivel because it's yes. not in the center at all. It's yeah. way off. Well, thanks, Otto. This is great. Thank you, Debbie. I, and I, if, if it wasn't for your prodding, <laughs> I would have done none of this. Oh. <laughs> I'm the blame of a lot of mischief. <laughs> Show me your yeah. Yeah. Those are the Same best things. things. And then I made my own little uh, bamboo cup holder in the front. Oh, Did you guys, you bought yours? Oh yeah, we bought, you made one? Oh, I got to see that. Yeah, yeah. Let me get this dirt Some of you guys may remember, two years ago, we were at the Baker City Rally in Oregon, and I, uh, Lori showed me her van, and now she's done a few things that we're gonna share with you that she's made herself. And uh, she says her van is too dirty to show, but we're going to do it anyway. So I made my little, my little cup holder. And I bought the bigger um, one that you have, the little cups that go inside, the mm -hmm. marine ones. But they were so big, mm -hmm. and I couldn't get anything to stick in them. So I bought, we did a three and a half inch circle. And I need to glue them in permanently, but it's those are pencil holders. Yeah. They're yeah. just pencil holders, and it fits so many sizes, and it fits Oops. every single cup that we have. So I do need to re. I was trying to find like a gasket to make a self-made gasket, oh, yeah. so that it would be a tension fit. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm still working on that, and it's just tension fit. Mm -hmm. I put one of these little yeah. sticky things, oh, yeah. you know, like the. Um, it feels like a one of those stick on kid, kids things and then I had these little blocks down here and these little blocks I just put in here and they just tension fit in so it's not a permanent fix you can take it out if you want to did it yourself I did that's awesome yep so we've had a, a hinge replaced just recently and Lori has swapped hers out for uh, what do you call the hinges you have uh, gas Oh, Something. yeah, 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 yeah. 
So you barely pull, and they lift up and they stay up, and then you put them down. And I put this leather strap on because it, this metal round hit or grip um, kept bumping me in my forehead as I was doing dishes. Oh, <laughs> great idea! So so we just, don't have we just we have the push button yeah. thing, but that's a great idea. Right. So anyway, so yeah, I just did those all over. I was able to use the same holes up above, okay. the same holes, and then I had, you kind of have to play with this. I was able to not use any of the two holes that were existing, so I had to drill new holes in, and one time I got it not quite right and the door wouldn't shut, so I took one of the screws out and just rotated this little round thing in the back until I, I felt like it was going to fit correctly, and then um, voila. It was done. Uh, Lori was telling me that th this is a replacement shade, is that right? Uh, it's you never the roll-off back screen for the Sprinter. And did you have one originally? No. Okay, what year no is screen. this? Uh, the Sprinter is, it's 2008. Okay. So this back piece here comes out and this just lifts up. I'm going to set this down here. And then this just covers this. Oops. I'm trying to cover it up. And then yeah. there's another one on the other side. And that covers it as well. And it's pretty thick fabric. And it really blocks the heat and the um, cold. That's amazing. That's yeah. really, what a great design it's improvement. It's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. OK. Thank you. <laughs> and Lori's on the board now of the Pleasure Way Rally and did an amazing job of of helping to organize this. We really appreciate it. Thanks. Anyway, the Ridge Monkey, it comes like this, all right? You can use, what I like about it is, it's expandable. What I like about it is, if you're doing toast or anything, it's my toaster, boom, boom. If I'm cooking and I need more room, boom, boom. If I'm cooking and I need less room, I can go like this. And what I like to do, as an old steamship engineer, is put a little spoonful of water in at the end and let the steam really cook it. Sure. And that works yeah. like a. And it's just been grilled fabulous. cheese, stuff like oh, that. It's what really is good. That thing for? It's just holding it. Yeah. Yeah. Cheese. It also oh, came with spoons, right? It came with a spoon and a fork and a. Yeah. There you go. I oh, love. Oh, I yeah. see that. Here's the butt. There's they don't. The you can't buy it on Amazon anymore. You have to buy it through, through the UK. The UK, and it takes yeah. forever. Yes. Yeah, so it takes. Okay. For the tuli rack, we. <laughs> All we did was buy these lights online, uh -huh. and we mounted them there using basically these hose clamps that you would use on a radiator. So you guys are going to show us the disaster that you guys had underneath your van, right? Yeah. Well, well we can. Yeah, you we want to hear. Climb underneath. No, well, we want to. We want to have know what happened to your van, so other people okay. can be aware of that. We had the agile off-road um, lift, the ride, ride improvement, improvement that, yeah. package done. And after we had that, we noticed we had water dripping out from underneath the vehicle. And once we crawled under there, we found out that the drive, drive shaft. shaft was actually rubbing on the gray waistline. And it had rubbed through so that it was now leaking. But because it's lifted now, that's no longer an issue. And so I went in and repaired it with ABS. Cement. Okay, so the, the rubbing happened before you had the rib the kit lift, put yes. on. Okay, yes. so can you show us where that where that connection is so people are aware in case they... I can show you. Yeah. And the, um, that material that's over, that looks like foil or something? Yeah, so yeah. it's insulative yeah. material that Pleasure Way actually puts on the, um, the gray line to protect it from the, the heat. Okay. And so I had to replace that also after I did the repair. Okay. I don't think you're the first that this has happened to. No, I don't. Two years ago, was it two years? A uh, year and a half ago. Yeah, I right met, before COVID. I met Doreen at the Our Village Rally in Florida. And uh, she's here. She Actually, she lives in North Carolina. 
uh, but she's here for the Pleasure Way rally and is showing me some of the gadgets she's acquired since the rally because she was in one of my videos there uh, d uh, demonstrating her stargazer chair. So, Okay, this is one of my favorite things that I found and makes cooking easy. Um, these little Dash Mini Makers. Uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, like $12.99. If you get the coupon, they come out to about 10 bucks. And you can make cook an egg in here and warm up or toast a English muffin on the other side, slap a piece of cheese, and you've got a nice little egg sandwich. Um, you can do get some chocolate chip cookie dough, the refrigerated kind. You can make a nice warm cookie. Pancakes, I like pecan pancakes in there. Um, what else have we done? Uh, I make little chicken quesadillas. So we just put the little mini. I've never seen those mini quesadillas. Oh, let me pull those out. Yeah. It's the, the tortillas, they're called street taco size. Oh. These are the last two okay. in there, but street taco mm -hmm. size, it fits right in the bottom. Perfect. Yeah, and then I put my little cut up chicken. We, we, we buy the Costco rotisserie chicken, which is already cooked, cut it up. Oh, perfect. Put that on there, slap a chunk of cheese and another one on the top, close it up for a little while, they're cooked and then just pour salsa on them, yeah, homemade great. salsa, of that's course. Great. This is our pride and joy, since the refrigerator does not always work well. Um, Mike installed... You see, it's the one we removed and replaced with the compressor. Yeah, this, this works sometimes and does other times. But, um, so this is just a Dometic. Uh, we, you can use that as a fridge or freezer. We're using it as a freezer. Oh, I just cover that up at night because mm -hmm. it's a bright light. <laughs> and we got the slide out. We just put it on a slide, and then there's lots of storage underneath. So we store extra drinks and things like that. So that's one of our favorite things. And we, we don't need the, the bed to extend because sleeping this way works well enough. I should say that this is a 2008 chassis. She has the Pleasure Way Ascent 2008. Yep. A lot of changes in the layout since then, but... Yeah, because we had just these little short things. You have yep. much longer ones. Mm -hmm. I think they took away the closet. Yeah. That we have a closet, but you don't. Mm -hmm. um, you have more of a seat here. So, I think. And whose swing hitch is this? This is one up. So, oh, just like no, the swing hitch is. It's also oh rack attack. Yeah. But it's still one up if you see the. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, okay. And you know these are nice because. Uh, yeah, that's what Auto up here has. Them. Yeah. And they and, hold them pretty well. Yeah, and apparently you can get a van, uh, ramp, so you could actually roll the bike. Yeah, up. I haven't heard about that, yeah. but that would be that Looking would make it easier. <laughs> and now we're going to go down and take a look at a lady's van where she actually had her bed raised. We're going to see how that looks. And there she is, sitting down on the job. Oh, always. Okay. You have to talk into this. You had your bed raised. Lots of people talk about this. Yeah, took the couch out, had the bed raised, and then I have, oh, knock over my drink. Uh, uh -huh. Then I have way more storage. Oh, yeah. Just, and, and easy to get to storage. But that means the bed is fixed, right? The bed is fixed, right. Okay. The couch is in my garage. Okay. okay. And, and, but you also sleep, you're a single, so you sleep I sideways. Say, yeah, I say, because the okay. twin bed, I got it from Costco, one of those memory foams. Yep. That way you could cut it to fit the, the length that you need. Uh-huh. Come and look inside, if yes. you don't mind. Yes. See how the bed is just, yep. and you can just lay on the bed and you look out over everything. But this is the cool thing. Can you sit up? Yeah, that's the problem. I didn't. Okay. I didn't uh, do this. But look at this. <laughs> oh, look at that! I was gonna have it broken up into um, compartments, and then I discovered all these little plastic bins mm -hmm. at Costco. Mm -hmm. And uh, this works just great. I can hide my, you know. And look, you used pipe, just plump, you know, plumbing yeah. pipe for this your. This an old table. It's been, it's just been sanded down. And then I just, then I, I sanded it down and then I ate soup and <laughs> slobbered it. But oh, see, right. it goes just back and forth like that. Or yeah. I can flip yeah. it like that and just stick it under. Oh, wow. Aren't you clever? I had all the fiberglass steps taking out because I love dirt roads mm -hmm. and I was killing my fiberglass steps. And if you look down, it's all skid plates underneath there. Yeah. So everything's protected for me for my dirt roads. Who did that for you? Um, Jesse Nybor, he's a guy, does everything. He uh -huh. did, you know, he and did the he's bed. he's located where? Temecula. Oh, oh, okay. So, um, yeah, come look on the other side and you can see how, 
how cool he did my um, septic system because I don't know about you, but I knocked my septic system out twice on rocks on dirt roads. Oh, really? No, because we're a little higher than you are. See how we're, see how oh, he's got yeah. that all protected? And you can tell I've hit a rock or two with that. Wow. <laughs> Fascinating. And then instead of the big old long cables that came in, we just put the one gate valve here, then I don't have to worry about. Try, I, at first, we had the long cables going out. So your the pain. So your black and gray come out of the same at the same time. At the same time. Hmm. That which is not super, but yeah. I put the big tires on here, but I got the wrong ones. And yeah. Noisy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yours are ra are Goodyear. Goodyear. And you said Wrangler, they're really Dura, loud. Dura track. And you said they're really loud. Really loud. Yeah. Whereas our K2s are not. So that's something that may just go out. And then Jesse yeah. did the back door too. I mean, it looks like oh, kind of like yeah. owls, but he uh -huh. did it himself. Nice. You could put a little ladder on there. Okay, and I see, and nice you, the way you Well, you know, it. what he did was he said he knew I'm going to come up with something that I need to put down here. So he said he made this really tall so that he could take the tire, put it up there, and then put whatever I need down here. So maybe I'll have an e-bike down here. <laughs> I like it. There you go. I like it. Well, thanks, Kathy. Oh, you're so welcome. Who's that man? Man, I'm, okay, I think she's over that way. Barbara Lynn's van. Barbara? Yeah, Barbara Lynn. Yeah, she's right around 118. Oh. I think Lori's in 118, but Barbara Lynn's. Close. Yeah, so Barbara Lynn's going to show us how she, what she did to her solar panels to make them tilt. They can be tilted up to, well, as long as you can anchor them 90 degrees, but I mean, I only tilt okay. them about 45 thereabouts, okay. just whatever to okay. uh, track the sun. What year is your pleasure way? So 2006. 2006. And how long have you owned it? Since 2006. Wow, you're the original <laughs> owner? I am. Well, I wish that sun weren't right there. Uh, when you need to repair them and replace them. Wow. And she just had to, they put a what dot in this okay. fluid. Oh on this paper. Gosh. They put a dot on there, so I had my differential uh, change. And they show you, uh, and he has a stack of these. I have a, I have a few. Okay, so they can tilt either direction. Next time we'll get more, but here's all of your service frequency. Right. Yep. 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 Okay. That's, okay, thanks. Kitty is going to show us her beautiful Japanese, uh, what do they call those screens? Laureen curtain. So we take the doors off because we have the, the French door yeah. style. Oh. And it blocks the flow of the traffic. Wait, is this, uh, what, what model is this? The FL, Pato okay. FL. So you took the doors off. Okay. And then just and then And then our refrigerator broke. <laughs> We, so, won't, we so, won't go there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and then if you come in, you have to buy an electric cooler and oh, put it there. That's what Doreen has. Yeah. Uh, so because of that, if we have the door there, so that means the door has to go this way. Right. And then you can open this up. It's, it's just a mess. Oh, that's so, a beautiful screen. Where did you get that? Amazon. So I have the extension, the tension cord. Uh -huh. And I do the commander hold some rubber band, hold it up, and there's a pocket here you can uh, go in, comes with it, and then you can just go in Perfect. and go out. But when you get your new refrigerator, though, you're going to get rid of the other one? No, I think we will keep it. Oh, in the van? Really? Because it ex expands. Yeah, it's not awful. Yeah. He likes a lot. At night. <laughs> at night. Mm -hmm. So nobody's around. Mm -hmm. So we fold this up. Nicer. Um, so it becomes like a slide out mm -hmm. way. And then there's yep. a window here. Yep. And nice. You can open it. Big window. 188. 188. Who's that? Who's that leisure way of It's Penny. Wow. Debbie, what kind of light is that? A Christmas bulb. Or a non-denominational winter holiday event bulb. <laughs> 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 <laughs>